Hello there. All right, those of you who have watched parts one and parts two of my videos on common hangups that hinder anorexia recovery, raise your hands. All right, awesome. You get cream filled donuts. And those of you who haven't raised your hands, uh, you get scones. Is that okay? Great. All right, well then watch the following video, like or subscribe, and peace. Hello there, my name is Billie Juliana. I'm 49 years old and I have a 40 year history of dealing with anorexia nervosa. And I'm currently following the recovery methods espoused by Tabitha Farrar, Kayla Rose Kotecki, and Elisa Ores. And I am doing a several part series on common hangups that hinder anorexia recovery. And in my first video, I covered future casting, rapid weight gain, changing routines, and adapting to body changes. And in my second video, I covered comparison. And when I was thinking about a topic for this particular video, something came to me out of left field, and that is exhaustion. And I know that that seems ironic because a lot of us get into this method of recovery because we are so exhausted. So actually exhaustion can be a great catalyst for recovery. However, I have also noted that it can be a hang up as well. So let's look at this. Now this method of recovery requires unrestricted eating for life, prolonged rest, and no more body weight suppression. So that is just a great, great formula for getting rid of exhaustion. It's a great formula for tired people to come in and combat their disease just by sitting and eating. So why does exhaustion become a hang up? Well, Here's how, there are a couple of ways. First is a lot of us at the outset of recovery are so depleted and so starved, so malnourished that we can't even think straight. We're in this surreal state of being where we can maybe get our day-to-day -day functioning done that we need to do, but we just cannot even conceive of ideas of how to change our routines or conceive of ideas of what to eat or even find the way to the kitchen or the pantry. And so we need extra energy just to get that brain fog lifted so that we can start going about recovery in a much more clear fashion. So exhaustion can just get in the way at the outset. Exhaustion can also hit somewhere in the midst of the recovery journey. And this is what happened to me. I started in with this method of recovery as a very tired person, but I had the wherewithal to get into this method of recovery and I got going. But after I gained weight, I started facing some more challenges and I hadn't rewired my thoughts yet enough about weight gain and about my place in the world and all of that stuff in order to combat what, what I was facing. And that was other people's comments, how I felt at a certain weight in the world in a new body. That was strange to me and difficult. And also my own fears in general just seemed to rear up even greater. And I felt very, very tired at that point. Even though I was eating more and I had re-energized my body to an extent, I still hadn't recovered 100% and I hadn't nutritionally rehabilitated 100% either. And so I was facing two forms of exhaustion. One, my body was still trying to heal. And two, I had all this mental stuff to combat or to deal with or to sort out. And I felt too tired to go on. And so I just kind of kept myself in this stasis where I wasn't losing weight, but I was in a restrictive lockdown mode. And I was just barely hanging on that way. And so exhaustion got the better of me here because I just didn't feel like going out and fighting against all the stuff that was going on in my head. I was just tired, overwhelmed. And so in this way, exhaustion can also be a big hang up. So at the outset, it can be a hang up just because we're too depleted to get started. And then somewhere midway through, it can rear its ugly head again because 
we're just overwhelmed by all that we're facing and all of the changes. So exhaustion can be a bit of a problem. So I was just sitting there thinking, so how do I deal with this? Because if I don't want to be in warrior mode, how do I deal with this? Well, while I was thinking about it, I was considering the fact that in my last video, I was talking about how all the world's a stage. It is. We are on the world stage. And if anyone exists, then they have a place on the stage. All right? So we all have a place on this stage. So why do I have to enact a battle scene on this stage? I don't have to. Why don't I audition for a role of something some, along the lines of the cheerful banqueteer? Yeah, I'd rather play that. Instead of going out there and being like a in a in a play where I'm like Joan of Arc or something like that and having to wield a broadsword and you know do all kinds of crazy shenanigans with stage combat and all that, nah, I'm too tired for that. So I'm going to uh, audition for the play where there's a big banquet and the hosts are relying on me to be the gracious guest and be the banqueteer that eats all their food and I have to be very polite in this and eat what they serve and eat what I'm given and also they have stocked the kitchen and the pantry just for me and the other guests so it is incumbent upon me to be a polite guest and go take what they have stocked for me. So I am aud auditioning for this role. Oh, I got it! I have won the role of the cheerful banquet here. And so now I get to enact that role. So it's not about fighting, it's about playing a role. A part where I am eating and enjoying myself and I am calm and I am exhibiting all my emotions. I can be clever, I can be sardonic, I can be witty, oh. I can be irritable. Oh. I'm exhibiting all my emotions because I'm playing a role and I'm acting a part. And you know what? I'm going to win a Tony for this. I'm going for that ultimate award. I'm going to go for the Tony. And the Tony consists of complete freedom and liberation from anorexia. And that is one way in which I have thought about navigating this exhaustion. Not going back out there and doing battle, because I tell you what, with the recent strictures out there, with the virus and all of this stuff and the quarantine. And I know a lot of videos have covered the quarantine and, 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 and keep repeating it. And you're probably sick of hearing about it. But it is true that for me personally, I felt extra exhaustion recently because all of the strictures out there and all of the ways in which we have to modify our lives have ended up exhausting me. I don't know about you, but they have been really, really trying on my emotions and on my physical stamina as well. And so I found myself getting very tired and also as a result, getting more restrictive in my personal life, kind of mirroring what's going on outside and getting more regimented in my personal life and kind of falling back into the old disease type patterns because I'm so, so tired. All the stuff that's going on out here is just making me really tired. And so in order to get rid of my eating disorder, because as I've said before, if there's a future out there with me in it, then I want to be in it without the eating disorder attached. And if I find myself kind of slipping that back down into the regimentation of the eating disorder, then I'm not going to go into the future without my eating disorder. It's going to come right with me and be just as obnoxious as it was back then. So no. So I'm thinking that it'd be better for me just to pretend that I am someone who doesn't give a damn and that I am the cheerful banqueteer. And I mean, don't give a damn about the eating disorder, not about the world in general, but about the eating disorder. I don't give a damn. And I have talked about pretending that I am someone else who doesn't care in other videos way back when, way before all this strange stuff started happening in the world. And I'm going to bring that up again, that 
this is a good time to use that tool. If you're feeling really, really exhausted, then maybe it's time to just pretend that you're someone else. You still may be tired, sure, but your pretense is that you are someone who needs to eat a lot of food. It is incumbent upon you to eat a lot of food because you are the cheerful banqueteer, and that is your role, and that's the role that you're going to embody, and you're going to win a Tony for it. We're all going to be co-winners of the Tony for best cheerful banqueteer because there's a lot of room at the table. You're all invited. We're all going to embody this character. Every one of us is going to play a unique, cheerful banqueteer. And my eating disorders coach has actually recommended this long before. She has told me before, you know, when you get to a point where you just feel you, you cannot go on, then shift into role playing. Shift into a place where you say, okay, I am pretending I am someone else who does not care. Like I said, who does not give a damn about the eating disorder stuff, the weight gain, the comments, all of that. I don't care. It is time for you to do that if you find that you just cannot go further with your own messed up head and you're so tired yourself. So just pretend you're someone else and get in there and eat. Then you'll re-energize yourself and you'll get through everything that you're facing. And so that's what I'm telling myself to do right now. I'm like, exhaustion has become a hang up. So I'm gonna get through the exhaustion by pretending I'm someone else and my job and my role is to be the cheerful banqueteer. <laughs> All right? So, like I said, there's plenty of room at the table. I invite anyone, anyone to join me. And for those of you who are just starting out recovery and you're like, but wait a minute, I'm one of those who is so depleted that I can't even think of how to eat unrestrictedly. I'm like, just find your way to the kitchen. You can grope your way if you've got so much brain fog that you can't see it. Grope your way to the kitchen and eat the nearest thing that is not in your safe, comfortable zone, but that will actually energize you. And then you can grope your way to the table. And then eventually, yes, you can join the cast of the Cheerful Banqueteers. All right. So with that very strange notion out there on the table for you, no pun intended, I ask that you eat unrestrictedly, rest for a prolonged period. Please, we're all so tired. Don't worry about body weight anymore. And take care of yourselves. And until next time, peace.